welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgeway, I'm founder of the Tudor Society and also the Anne Boleyn Files and author of several Tudor history books. Today I'm taking you back to the uh, reign of Queen Elizabeth I in the year 1580. But it was on this day in Tudor history, the 3rd of May 1580, that poet, farmer and agricultural writer Thomas Tusser died at the age of 65. He was then laid to rest at Manningtree in the county of Essex. Now Thomas Tusser is known for his poem, A Hundredth Good Points of Husbandry, which records the country year, you know, the agricultural year, and also his instructional poem on farming, which is called Five Hundredth Points of Good Husbandry, United to as Many of Good Housewifery. Now, these are actually wonderful works. You can actually find them, I think, on archive.org if you want to read them for yourself, but they are absolutely wonderful works. But I thought today, in celebration of this Tudor man's life, uh, you know, on the anniversary of his death, that because we're in the month of May, that I would read you the verses from his poem, A Hundredth Good Points of Husbandry, that are about the month of May. So I will read it to you. Both Philip and Jacob bid put off thy lambs, that thinkest to have any milk of their dams. But Lammas adviseth thee milk not too long, for hardness make poverty scabbed among. To milk and to fold them is much to require, except thou have pasture to fill their desire. But nights being short, and such heed thou mayst, mayst take, not hurting their bodies, much profit to make. Milk six ewes for one cow, well chosen therefore, and double thy dairy, else trust me no more. And yet may good housewives that knoweth the skill, have mixed or unmixed at their pleasure and will. For greedy of gain overlay not thy ground, and they shall thy cattle be lusty and sound. But pinch them of pasture while summer time last, and pluck at their tails ere and winter be past. Pinch weanels at no time of water nor meat, if ever thou hope for to have them good neat. In summer at all times, in winter in frost, if cattle lack drink, they be utterly lost. In May at the furthest, why fallow thy land, much drought may cause after thy plough else to strand. That tilth being done, thou hast passed the worst, then after, who ploweth, plough thou with the first. So I just love it, it's rhyming couplets, it's quite simple, but he packs so much information and advice into uh, those verses, I just think it's wonderful. And for us, for people who are interested in how the Tudors farmed, how housewives and farmers, you know, what their life was like, how they did things, it's such a wonderful resource. So that's uh, in celebration, in commemoration of Thomas Tusser, who died at around the age of 65 on this day in history, the 3rd of May, 1580. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking there and you can click the bell, hit the bell to be notified as, of videos as they go live. You can, of course, uh, share comments, uh, like my video if you've enjoyed it. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye bye.